Kroger and welcome to the newlywed game. Let's meet our first couple. She's a 38-year-old social worker. He's a 40-year-old high school football coach. They've been married 14 months. Say hi to Jane and Nick Galvin. Welcome. Good luck. Next, she's a 33-year-old nurse. He's a 31-year-old truck driver. They've been married 11 months. Let's meet Mary and Jimmy Blackman. Hi, Mary. <laughs> Finally, she's a 26-year-old boom operator, and he's a 30-year-old marketing director. They've been married for a year and six months. Say hello to Tamara and Rob Blair. Good luck. Thanks for being here. A big hello to all three of our newlywed couples. to the newlywed game. Everybody, you ready to play? Oh, sure. Yeah. All right, I like that enthusiasm. Now, we're going to be asking you, I'm going to be asking you a bunch of questions about your relationship and each other. Correct answers, matches, earn points. The couple with the most points will win a fabulous second honeymoon. You ready? All right, Tamara, you're going to get the ball rolling. Here's how you're going to do it. You're going to look at this screen right here where you're going to see your husband, Rob. My wife is so jealous of my relationship with... Now, Tamara, we stop the tape there because for 10 points, I want you to finish Rob's sentence. Molly. Molly. And Molly is? I My mean, dog. Your dog. <laughs> A receptionist at the office. Remember, what did you say last night when I came home? That they always, it's not only just one. I've got three gals, and they kind of, you know... You're digging Molly. a little hole there, Rob. Molly. Molly. Well, Molly too. But. Well, I think Molly would have been a safer answer. Don't you think? Yeah. 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 No. Okay, Mary, look at Jimmy. The one thing that I love to do that my wife hates is... What's she love to do that you hate, Mary? That I hate? Yeah. Fill on my breasts in public. <laughs> Watch football. <laughs> There's a little and difference. Here we are. Woo <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, you're just a big football fan? Love it. Yeah? Every yeah. Sunday. Every Sunday? Yeah. 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 Well, you'll probably get along well with Nick over here. Yeah. <laughs> and hopefully, Jane, you will too. Oh, yeah. Here he is. Yeah. The one thing my wife cooked for me that nearly made me sick was. <laughs> Really made him sick. Mm-hmm. Jeez. Uh, rice? <laughs> spinach. <laughs> I don't like spinach. Well, yes, you do. Not even a little. You know you like it. Uh, That's all. That's probably it. That's it. Yeah. I'll learn to like it. You yeah. will. Yeah. It, it, Roll fast. He just hasn't had enough of it yet. <laughs> Serve him more and more spinach. We're gonna turn the tables now. Nick, see if you can make some points with Jane here. The celebrity I bet my husband fantasizes about is... Yeah. Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> he was quick with that. Barbara Streisand. <laughs> is that true? I've met Barbara, but uh, we've never been uh, in that way together. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, take a look at Mary. One job around the house I keep asking my husband to do, but he doesn't is... What's that, Jimmy? Clean the yard. Clean the yard. Clean out the garage. Ah. Oh. Kind of a cleaning theme there. Last week's argument. Yeah? It was everything in the backyard to pull the leaves. What, what's the problem, Jimmy? You watching football? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The one habit that I have that really annoys my husband is... Um, putting her makeup on while she's driving on the 405. <laughs> I'm with you there, pal. <laughs> I'm always rushing around. Oh. 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 I'm always late all the time, rushing well, around. that 
That's true. There's that's, two things. Yeah. Um, you well, know, they're right up there. More than that. But they they're are hand in hand. That's probably why she's putting on her makeup when she yeah, walks in the car. Exactly. Right. This morning, you know, mm -hmm. I set the alarm and she set it for a little bit later, a little bit later, and then we're rushing. <laughs> we're going to rush right back right after this commercial, so stick around. <laughs> Welcome back to the Newlywed Gang. Tamara, I heard that you still believe in Santa Claus. That's true, right? Uh -huh. How come? Well, um, one Christmas, Rob, unbeknownst to me, dressed up as Santa Claus at um, Christmas Eve in front of my whole family and passed out gifts to everyone, had a big sack, and said, Does, did anyone get a gift? And I said, well, no, I didn't get a gift. And he comes over to me in a huge Santa suit and kneels down and proposes to me in front of everyone. I, and no one knew except my dad was videotaping at my mom. And I was completely surprised. I had no idea. Of Good job, Rob. Yeah. That was it. Santa, Santa never sweat so much. <laughs> Bad. Mary, what's the hardest part about being married to Jimmy so far? Well, everything's great. But, you know, at night when we're sleeping, when he rolls around in bed, he bounces me. And sometimes I feel like I'm going to bounce out of bed. So that so far is the hardest. What do you mean I'm bouncing? Because you're a big guy. You know, you yeah. move, I move. <laughs> no. Jane and Nick, there's one area in your relationship where you're not very compatible? I'm kind of a jock. I coach football, referee basketball, baseball, softball. Almost anything there is to do with sports, I do. Uh -huh. And she could never even suit up for a PE class in high school. <laughs> I stood it up, but I was such a clutch, clutch, I kept getting injured, and all of a sudden I said, you know, out, no more PE for you. So you're not a, a jock at? <laughs> no, one might call me Calamity Jane. Okay. <laughs> But it's working out. It works out early now. Yeah. yeah. Except it's not working out in the scoreboard no, too well we so far. Tennis. No points. No points. That's all. Mary and Jimmy, you're lighting up the scoreboard with no points. <laughs> Tamara and Rob, big zero. <laughs> Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to ask each one of you a multiple choice question. It's then going to be up to you to tell me which of the three answers I give you your mate said. If you got a match, you get 10 points. Jane, Calamity Jane, I'm going to start with you. Did Nick say that if he could change one thing about your appearance, it would be your hair, your clothing, or your weight. Clothing. Yes, what did you say? I took the safe answer. Mary, did Jimmy say that when it comes to exercise, you go for a walk, you go for a run, or you go for the couch? Uh, the couch. Where you might join Jimmy to watch a little football, right? Yeah, <laughs> might as well. <laughs> Tamara, when Rob first met you, what did he tell us was his first true intention? To date you, to seduce you, or to meet your hot friend? Oh, God. <laughs> to seduce me. Yeah! <laughs> Did it work? It's all good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Rob, when you're out to dinner, did Tamara say you eat way too slow, way too fast, or you eat your food and then her food? Oh, uh, uh, definitely. I eat my food and her food. <laughs> why, why is that? Because we go to those restaurants and they have really small portions, you know? Mm -hmm. He's just a pig. I don't know where it goes. I mean, I, he eats so much. I, he's probably trying to fill out that Santa Claus suit. That's right. Yeah. That's right. For next year. <laughs> Jimmy, according to Mary, where do you make the most noise? In front of the TV, in an argument, or in bed? <laughs> it has to be in bed because he has to play with all my snoring. <laughs> And then he rolls over and you're making noise. <laughs> Nick, did Jane say 
that if you were on a boat, you would treat her like the captain, the first mate, or the person who cleans the deck. Just like life, I treat her like the captain. Oh. <laughs> Nick, you are full of the right I'm answers. A coward. All right. the way. Well, we're going to be back with more right answers and maybe a few wrong ones right after this, so don't go away. Jane and Nick, I'm happy to say you're on the board with 20 points. All right! Mary and Jimmy, 20 points for you. Hey! We have a three-way tie. Cameron and Bob, 20 points. Right. Let's see if we can break up this tie. Here's how we're going to do it. Guys, we talk to your wives, and they reveal little secrets about themselves, you guys, your relationship. As I reveal their secrets right here, if you think it's your wife that said that, you're going to hold up that sign that you now have. Let me see it. You'll get my attention by holding it up, and yelling out, that's, that's my wife! Very good, now, if you're right, you'll get 10 points, but if you're wrong, you will lose 10 points, so you gotta be sharp. First one up is the only one that can win or lose. Here's the first one. The thing that annoys her the most is when you drive really slow that's when she's wife. in a hurry. Yeah. Why do you do that? I mean, what? I drive for a living. I'm very cautious. And if she's in a hurry, you gotta do this. You gotta go faster. Go faster. Uh -huh. I'm like, on the way over here, she was complaining about me driving faster. I'm gonna pull on the freeway and let her drive the rest of the way. I'm always running late. That's probably why I do right. that. But. Yeah, you should get to know Tamara over here. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should carpool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if, just as long as I'm not driving behind you, that's fine. <laughs> she secretly sneaks cigarettes behind. That's your my back. wife. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I know it's not a well kept secret, apparently. Everybody knows. We're that. trying the pillow treatment <laughs> when we get home. When she gets together with her girlfriends, she loves to talk about your bad habits. That's my wife! <laughs> Short conversation. <laughs> well, nobody else picked up. I figured it had to be her. <laughs> so, uh, you're right. It doesn't have No, of course not. Her most embarrassing moment was when playing beach volleyball. That's my wife. Top popped off. <laughs> Anything that has to do with beach volleyball, it happened to her. Tamara, what happened? My top just broke the back, mm -hmm. so I just yeah. go right in the sand. It was okay. Jimmy and Nick, I know you love watching football. I might suggest volleyball. <laughs> it's a good spectator it sport. all the time. She says your socks really stink. That's <laughs> not all. <laughs> <laughs> she never told you, but she hates it when you put your tongue in her ear. That's my wife. <laughs> you don't like it. You don't like it. I didn't say it. No, it wasn't. Didn't Who was that? Like but I didn't say it. Ah! Busted. <laughs> and nothing to do with athletics, so I didn't know. Does he do that a lot? Probably won't happen again. No. <laughs> she refuses to eat pickles in front of you because she says it always turns you on. It's a girl thing. It's a girl thing. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to take a uh, commercial break and cool off a little bit here. Stick around. We'll find out which one of these couples wins that honeymoon. Don't go away.
end of this round, one of these couples will be off on a fabulous second honeymoon. Ellen, tell them where they're going this time. Gary, today's winners are off to Anguilla. They'll spend a week at the Sonesta Beach Resort Anguilla, a luxurious AAA four-diamond resort set on a long, pristine Caribbean beach with Mediterranean mosaics, arches, fountains, and lush landscaping. The Sonesta Beach Resort Anguilla. Back to you, Gary. Thank you, Ellen. Okay, now you know what you're playing for. Nick and Jane, you're in good shape here with 40 points. Right. Rob and Tamara, you're in good shape as well with 40 points. Mary, Jimmy, do not despair. You've got 20 points. And let me tell you what's going to happen here. I'm going to give your wives a couple of choices. It'll be like hard rock or cool jazz, henpecked or ruler of the roost. She'll hold up the card behind you where you can't see it. It best applies to you guys. You then have to match. But here's the thing. I start with 10 points. I go all the way up to 100 points. Yeah. Are you ready? You ready? Yep, let's go. For 10 points. And ladies, get those cards up quickly. 10 points. French fries or baked potato? Nick? French fries. He says you're a baked potato. Jimmy? Baked potato. Good job, Rob. Baked potato! Yeah! For 20 points, works hard. Plays hard. What is it, Jimmy? Works hard. She says you play hard. Rob. Works hard. Good job, Nick. Plays hard. She says you work hard as well. For 30 points, table manners or Mr. Piggy? Rob. Mr. Piggy. Good you have table manners, Nick? Mr. Piggy. Good job, Jimmy. Table manners. Thank you, Mr. Piggy. For 40 points. Handyman or needs a hand? Start with you, Nick. Easy, needs a hand. <laughs> Jimmy. Needs a hand. Good job, Rob. Handyman. Good. 50 points. Nice guy or bad boy? What are you, Jimmy? Bad boy. Yeah. <laughs> Rob. I am a nice guy. Yeah, yeah. she thinks so too. Nick. Nice guy. Nice guy you are. 60 points. Loves her body, loves her mind. Rob? <laughs> loves her body. Yeah. Good God. Yeah. Loves her body. Good one. Yeah. Jimmy? Loves her mind. Loves her body. <laughs> well, right now, Jane and Nick, you have 220. You're still in first place. All right. You're tied with Rob and Tamara with 220. Mary oh, and Jimmy, you're in third place still with 120. This is for 100 points, so this could be a tie for you. All right? Are you ready? You're still playing for something here. 100 points, trip to the Caribbean. Takes his time in bed or eager beaver. Now, Jimmy, this will give you 220, put you in a three-way tie with everybody. Take my time. Okay, go. You have 220. I'm going to go over here to you, Nick. This would give you 320, put you in a commanding first place lead. Well, then I better take my time. Okay, you took your time. All right, don't say anything, Rob. I want to make you sweat just a little bit. <laughs> if you get this right, we're going to play a little tiebreaker. Otherwise, if you get this wrong, Nick and Jane are off to the Caribbean. Okay. What's it going to be? I take it that I'm a little eager beaver. She said you take your time. You won. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Right here on the Nuclear Fight Game.